Hi, today we're going to be taking a review of Ozark Trail 4 in 1 Survival Watch. So, yeah, I picked this up there at Walmart for about 12 bucks, which is pretty reasonable price because the same way it has to offer in here. So, yeah, it's the Ozark Trail. Let's see if we can focus a little bit. There you go. Ozark Trail. Outdoor equipment, you know, survival watch. Four in one survival kit says. Digital watch, obviously. Uh, safety whistle, which we can see on the back here. Fire starter, which again has to do with the bat and there. And eight feet of continuous 325 true paracord. So this paracord is a 325 as true paracord. The other paracord that you see that I use on my USB flash drives, thumb sticks, you know, things like that, is like, I think a 555 or 550 paracord. So, yeah, this one's supposed to be a little bit flatter and a little bit lighter. But, you know, if you're going to wear it on your wrist, you want something that's going to feel more comfortable. But, yeah, let's open it up to the it. Now, right off the bat, in between these two clips, right here, it's a little fire wad right there. Yeah. I bought one before from Walmart. I had to return it. The fire wad was used. Previously used and broken. I wouldn't trust the whistle. So, waited a couple weeks. Return it. They had more in stock, which I was like, okay, I'm glad that they finally had more in stock. So that's why I got this one to do review Because a couple weeks ago, I probably would have done a review on this. I went to open it up and I was like, hey, someone used this. This has been pretty to use. They didn't have any more. That was the only one that they had. So like I said, wait a couple weeks, went back, saw that they had more, return it. It's like, look, this has been used. So like, okay, you want your money back or you want another one? I was like, yeah, I see you got some more. I'll grab another one. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's take it off with a little card here. So laid out, that's how big it is when it's completely laid out. And the bed, they did staple a little baggie here. So let me try to get something to get the baby off. Uh, where, there we go. Because that's going to have, you know, all our little stretchings on here. Mm how to set up the watch Give me a second to get this little fellow out of the bed here. I'm not going to set the time to watch right now. I'm going to do that, you know, off camera. But just to kind of see some of the functions here of the watch. Which is going to be a little hard to do. So it's saying over here, like right there, that's going to be your light. Obviously, that's the wrong time, but you know what I'm saying. M. M is for your mode right down here to change the different modes. Start is going to be S. And R is going to be here for your reset. So it says one 100 seconds that it has. Okay. And I guess it does have the date on there. Because here it's saying Saturday, and obviously it's not Saturday while I'm doing this review. But on the watch it says Saturday. I don't see anything like a date, like February 14th, February 15th, you know, anything like that. So, yeah. Unless there... Oh, there is supposed to be a way to put the date on there. If, right here, but for some reason that bar is not showing anything. So I wonder if this is another broken one. Then the date and we adjustments, which it's a big lengthy process. Like I said, take this one, 
that could go up there and there, or you could take this and go there, or you could go here to here. It's like multiple pathway routes to get to the time and date. Like I said, I'm going to do that part off camera. And then how to use the stopwatch mode. Uh, alarm time setting. Display alarm time and date. Turn alarm on and off. Hour alarm. So every hour it could beep and stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to yeah, set that off to the side there. Let me see about getting this on my wrist and how it's going to lay. Okay. Okay, first off, I can tell this is not easy to attach on and off the wrist. Well, maybe off it's a bit easier. But quit it on. Yeah, and it is bit of floppy. I mean, so if you have a small wrist or a small hand, it is going to dangle and flop all around, as you can see. Yeah. So that's what the back looks like, that's what the front looks like, although, when you're moving, it's probably going to be turning and spinning and doing its little thing. So, um... We wish that they did a better adjustment system. You know, where you could adjust it to make it tighter or looser. If you have a bid whisk, if you have a small whisk. I'm going to say this one's geared to more of a medium to a bid whisk type of person. But, uh, anyone that has small whisk, no, nah, this ain't going to do. It's just going to flop around. I wish that they would have done something like, I don't know how good you can see on here. Something like this kind of back then, where, you know, if you need it bitter, you could adjust it to the last one, a little bit for medium and smaller. If you want to slide a paracord like this, and adjust it a little bit smaller, that would have been nice. This one is kind of stiff and light. This one's a little bit more of a stiffer paracord. Keeps its rounded shape. This one's kind of comfortable to wear, but by the way, it's from Call of Duty Ghost, if you didn't know where it was from. But yeah. Uh, let's check out the fire story. You can pull this piece off. Now you might be saying, why would you want to pull this piece off? Where, obviously, um, over here, you can see there is a bit of fire star here. You do have to scrape it a while to get, you know, that black holding off of it. Ooh, there we go. Let me kind of close that a little bit. Hopefully the camera's putting up the sparks. You could do it that way, or if I put that one back in there, there is one in here. Like right there. So I'm probably going to have to take that one off. You know, start this one a little bit. Ow. It kind of pinches you. Let's see here. Let's do that for a little bit. I guess that's as much silver as I could get off. There is some sparks from this one, but yeah, it's not that much. You might as well just use this one. And it's not going to give you that much of a bit sparks. Okay. So let's see here. If I can kind of get close. Come on. And you can't hold it in here because, you know, honestly, you can't take that and turn it and spot it. I can see it still needs some more scraping in here, but, uh, all in all, for 12 bucks, it's something that's kind of like for an emergency 
use only that I'm going to say. As far as actual practicality of this fire start, no. This fire start, it will work, but now it's a striker. Go out and get, you know, a knife or a better striker to strike this one with. This one definitely is going to be a lot better, but strike your scars. And as far as the whistle goes, you might want to turn down your volume. <gasps> it's not that loud, so it's not that loud. So if you think, oh, you're going to blow the whistle and someone's going to hear it and be like, there you are, I can find you, I can save you. Don't worry, you're going to get medical attention, you're going to get help. You're lost in the woods, or in a mountain, or where you be, you know, at hopefully using this. Yeah. Go My advice is, go out and get a good watch. Paracord is about the only halfway decent down here. This flint magnesium rod is, you know, pretty good. This one over here is garbage. The whistle is garbage. The striker is not that great, and it's just too darn big for my wrist. I mean, like, if I had it against my hand like this, but who's really going to hold it like this? Really? Yeah. On my wrist, it flips and flops around. If they did something kind of like this, maybe, where you could adjust it, it would be a lot better. And unfortunately, it doesn't even spar. You can't get fire going. I mean, with at least the UST Optimus Survival Technology stuff, on their fire stars, it goes whoosh, within like two or three strikes, you know, after you get that black coating off, it lights a fire. With this Ozark Trail, yeah, no. So, yeah, that has been the review of the Ozark Trail.